Michelle's supposed to be working on this stuff. <clears throat> you know, the thing we're doing a live stream on, but I'm getting really hungry. <clears throat> this is what I'm forced to endure nowadays. Rabbit food. <clears throat> of course, we have our shrimps for protein. <clears throat> so let's set this aside right here and uh, go back to what I was able to get done. So come on in a little closer and we'll check this out. Okay. The first thing I had to do was uh, <clears throat> see what... Uh, Changi's girl's eyes look like right here because he's a little on the oriental side not exactly but close <clears throat> so I have these sheets right here to show me how they look <clears throat> here's some girls right here that I took shots of you know <clears throat> this is what all artists use is reference we need reference to see what we can't see in our heads so <clears throat> this is going to suffice from here <clears throat> so I can, work, I can work from this right here this is no problem that um, I hope. As far as arm folds go, I have a, a sheet and arm folds too. So we're all very lucky to have these things hanging around right here. Oh, that guy was in his underwear. Girls don't look. They're married. Okay. So let's go back to uh, Shazan right here. The first thing I put some. So what I did was I put some shadows in him, and I can I can see they need to be a little darker. So let's get the black out and go in and uh, and darken that. If he's going to be in sunlight, he's going to be pretty dark here. And these are going to be dark too. I just know they are. <clears throat> One of the things I did in his face when you guys were gone was um, <clears throat> I, <clears throat> I kind of smoothed it over with a general uh, kind of like a glaze kind of a thing and that <clears throat> kind of had me kind of helped me put everything in its place and not have too many things outlined this is outlined this stuff over here is outlined but <clears throat> a lot of the stuff is <clears throat> is just tonal yeah I don't put an outline around everything um, that's what you learn when you when you're trained in, in, uh, in painting is um, there are only certain areas that are sharp. Now, if you want to go graphic, which is kind of what I'm trying to do here, um, <clears throat> it's okay to put outlines and stuff, but be selective about it. So, <clears throat> this area right here is uh, is looking too grainy for me. So, uh, I think sometimes people just go in with a, another color, and some of these colors have more wax in them. Uh, these are wax pencils right here and <clears throat> since they're made of wax they slide around a lot and they <clears throat> they can be kind of um, temperamental to work with now if I really want to get this smoothed out right here um, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll move this stuff out of the way and go grab <clears throat> my watercolor and, and just kind of slide some color over it we'll grab you an appropriate brush right here and I'm going to grab some dark paint and I'm going to use that to smooth over some of this stuff and then I'm going to go back to rendering it in in, in more of the pencil right here <clears throat> but this is what I do to make sure that uh, I get the look that I want. Artists are, are very particular about their look <clears throat> and I certainly am um, all artists are. These are cast shadows, they're pretty dark um, there's a cast shadow under here, and I'm just going to make the beard a little, a little more, uh, um, more something. Hey, you guys try talking while you're painting. You'll see how it how it is. So let's get some stuff in the ear. I know there's stuff that's going to be in there. Uh, know your ear anatomy. My God, people, if it's one thing you want to take away from this session is know your ears. <clears throat> so let's gonna grab let's grab some more of this uh, this paint right here. <clears throat> and we're gonna smooth some of this out. Remember, he's got kind of this yellow thing going on here. So I'm just gonna <clears throat> add some more of that in there. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna and when this dries, I'm gonna go in there and there's my dark base that I always start with right there. And then I'm, <clears throat> now that I've kind of smoothed things out a little bit, 
I'm going to uh, go in with the pencils and and uh, hopefully uh, render this thing. See what happens when I when I scrape the pencil goes right back. So I don't really want that. <clears throat> I want to make this smooth like paint, <clears throat> but I like I like the texture that the pencil gives me. I think that's kind of neat, and it gives me kind of a different look from the, the look that people. Um, uh, the, the way that I've always done it in the past and that's always a good thing break it up and uh, <clears throat> try some different things every now and then um, you guys know what I mean I would expound the net for the next 10 minutes but there's no reason to right here's an area that the pencil still showing through a little bit so <clears throat> I'm kind of reestablishing my base of, of dark color Try to get paint in your brush because it, it's kind of hard to paint without paint. Uh, <clears throat> so there you go. You know, we're just going to smooth a few areas of, uh, of this stuff out uh, just a little bit. <clears throat> I don't want to lose uh, the look of this thing, which is color pencil base, but. You can see how I'm working this a little bit here. I had a dark line around that nose there, and I, I didn't like it. It looked um, it looked wrong. So, uh, since I know right from wrong, I got rid of it. This is all water-based paint right here. And hopefully I'm, I'm doing an okay job in this right here. Here's some of my dark paint. So I can, uh, I can get some darker areas where I know the shadows are going to be. <clears throat> this is all watercolor, so with all kind of paint, you can soften the area right here if you so choose to do it, Jim. Okay, so <clears throat> with that and these new washes that are kind of giving me that smoother look, this, uh, I'm going to um, let it dry and uh, go, go into it a little bit more. I've seen people work magic with colored pencils. They make it look really soft and smooth. Um, I don't think I'm someone that qualifies for doing that. <clears throat> so we have to um, do a lot of kind of back and forth and a mixed media kind of a thing. Tell me if you can hear me over this hair dryer. Notice the musculature of this guy right here, a bird band. There's a lot of, it was all done from memory, but I did have, I did look at some bodybuilding. They give me kind of a, kind of a, a dropping off point, is that what you call it? You can see I didn't get around to uh, my core or the wings. But I did go get her under this guy right here. So if we're, if we're drying up, I think we're, we can go into this again. <clears throat> we're going to do exactly that. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's kind of. I like to develop the form in kind of a, a logical way. You know, this is a. Uh, just think of it like this right here, okay? It's a cylinder. Now I know you guys all know about the cylinder stuff when it comes to drawing. That's the cylinder to me. That's what this is all about. And some areas I want to be nice and sharp and carve out a little bit. <clears throat> There's some good arms I can look at right here. These are Lion Decker arms <clears throat> from the 1920s probably. So that's that's very helpful. He's got these great rhythms that I like. And remember, <clears throat> if anything gives me a hard time, um, I either pull up my phaser on stun or I erase. You don't want to get, you don't want this stuff to give you a hard time. We've got better things to do. So we kind of see what's going on here, right? I like some of the texture in this, but I don't like a lot of it. I just like some of it. Um 
I was recently told by my PR agent that I'm supposed to tell everyone to uh, let friends know that you're watching this. Uh, but since I'm not, I'm not big in that kind of pandering, uh, just ignore that, okay? Pretend I never said it. How is that going to work? Okay, so let's see. Let's grab this dark pencil right here, and I'm gonna. <clears throat> and this other brown pencil and kind of transition the tone a little bit. There's not a whole lot of taf half tones in sunlit forms, but they are there. <clears throat> so I don't like the way that that's going on, so I'm just gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna grab this eraser right here and take the wax right off it. See, <clears throat> I think telling people um, <clears throat> how to correct mistakes is, is maybe more important and telling them how to do it without mistakes. So we're kind of big in that here at the road, road factory. Study, practice, study some more, and do it for the next uh, 400 years, and you might be somebody who's worthy of being an, illustri an illustrator. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll grab something like this. Uh, for the prismas and just feel like this, it really doesn't work. But there are other things, like some of these, sometimes you'll see these uh, these blenders. <clears throat> I'm told these markers right here can often blend stuff. Let's see how that works. Uh, yeah, see? So in, in some ways it'll work. It's not foolproof. Uh, all the heavy lifting is eventually going to have to be, have to be done by you anyway. Sometimes it just wipes everything right off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But just you know, stay on your toes because this thing is going to challenge you every inch of the way, just like it's doing uh, to me every time. Bless its soul. <clears throat> but apparently, there's something in these markers right here, some kind of an alcohol content. Um, so when you're done drinking these things, try to apply it on your painting, and you might be able to get some uh, some nice transitional tones going on here. I'm sure you can all hear me just fine here. Let's go with some highlights. Let's start with uh, oh, what's, what is this yellow going to look like right here? Memory is memory. Your memory is actually a very bizarre thing. I mean, <clears throat> our entire lives are contained in our in our heads, in these things called brains, uh, the things that most people are supposed to possess. So that's going on better right there. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's add some white to this right here. Um, <clears throat> there are some really light pencils we can work, but I'm just gonna. Um, <clears throat> use this right here and I can always you know knock it down if it's too strong <clears throat> our ace cameraman that I've hired hired for uh, four hundred dollars an hour is doing a really good job so I'm very glad I hired her put them on <clears throat> if it's too strong if it's too white, <clears throat> unless you like that uh, that super uh, highlight look that I, I often like. Um, <clears throat> but it's got to look right, <laughs> you know. If it doesn't look right, um, model the form some more. <clears throat> I think his cheekbones are a little strong. So let's grab, <clears throat> let's grab some of these colors right here. <clears throat> Not that one. Maybe this one right here, and just knock it down a little bit around here. See how that works? So it can be worked with, even if you use kind of this bizarre um, back and forth method, method, method that, that I use. Was I trying to say method? <clears throat> I'm from Wisconsin. That's uh, everyone from Wisconsin has a speech impediment. So, you can see it's starting to get there, right? Yeah, this this uh, here, this area right here, his top lip, 
it doesn't need to be that dark and I don't think I can just color pencil over that so <clears throat> I'm gonna grab one of these dark reds right here and uh, you know kind of give it that kind of a thing that's a science term by the way <clears throat> and where's that where's that that red here's the red and that's going on okay <clears throat> so what do you think guys am, am I um, am I performing to standards so far no I like I like these little things up here <clears throat> these little things these are really good for the the pencil kind of things <clears throat> I want to show that he's got actual hair on his brows and not something that's painted on like a, like a groucho mustache or something Uh, let's see <clears throat> the teeth <clears throat> Now I know this guy is a genie and doesn't have the brush. It's just it just happens, right? <clears throat> so to that end These are pen these are things are, are also very good for rendering uh, Little tiny details like these teeth. I mean you can see the pencil point. This is a very small kind of a thing right here and some of these, sometimes you put these highlights on and they really uh, bring the form in the round. Like, <clears throat> here, look right here. Can you see that white? No, of course you can't. So let's grab an intelligent pencil here. <clears throat> and this is a round form right here. Here it's a circle. Here it's a form. <clears throat> and if we go like that to it, you know, with a highlight on it, <clears throat> then it, it has the illusion of being round. That's why you see artists always working and thinking about these basic shapes. <clears throat> the, the sphere, the square, and <clears throat> all that kind of stuff that uh, <clears throat> really excites people when they want to they want to start learning. So, <clears throat> if you guys have any comments about how I'm uh, doing or not doing here, you just feel free to <clears throat> send me a, uh, grab a carrier pigeon and send me all your notes so I know how you think I'm doing here. I think I'm doing okay, but uh, you know, uh, it, it's 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 early on Sunday, uh, or rather mid afternoon. <laughs> so <clears throat> we'll see how I'm going to do here. Um, if you guys want more, write in and and tell me. I'll just keep going. Otherwise, uh, <clears throat> we'll do our best to uh, <clears throat> alleviate your your pain here after watching me uh, go through my paces here and we'll get back to each other uh, later on today and I'll show you how <clears throat> the wings turned out <clears throat> I'll show you how my tour turned out <clears throat> and Tundro and whatever else I can get around to <clears throat> before I need to take my three hour nap so <clears throat> I'll look forward to seeing you guys back in a little bit <clears throat> it's back to the salad <clears throat> it's back to my pink colored water and don't forget, it's good to get ahead in the world. See you in a bit. Steve Rude, live stream, signing off.